Today we're going to talk about live investigations with Fidelis Endpoint. Uh, we're going to talk about how you can really speed up an IR response with this new feature and how you can quickly accomplish tasks and goals and gather information at the click of a button just like you're on the machine yourself in front of the keyboard. So to do this what we would do is go into our endpoints tab over here on the left hand side and we're going to select one of our endpoints. We'll do centos.demo and over here I have my information just as normal but if you look over on the right hand side you're going to see that we have a live tab here. So if I click on that it's going to present me with some options. I have console, file system, and processes. So what each one of these does is we'll start with console. Console allows me to make a shell Ac give me shell access into the actual console on the endpoint. So this will bring up the default shell window, um, it default connect connection as system. And so what this is going to do is connect me into a live console. As you can see now, I have full access to this machine as root. Um, I can also go to the file system tab and what this will do is give me a full view of the file system and also the ability to interact with everything that is on it. So I can navigate through the file structures as you see here. I can go to different folders. I can select files. I can do all kinds of activity from here at my web console. So from these ellipses I can do um, numerous different actions including rename, cut, copy, delete, download, and search for this file on other endpoints. So it really gives you a lot of power over everything that's on the disk um, on that machine. You can also up upload files to this machine as well as well as download them into a protected archive. Uh, then the other option we have for live here is processes. Processes is really nice as it gives you full access like you were sitting in front of a task manager on a Windows machine uh, to all operating systems and the ability to manipulate and interact with all the processes on the endpoint that are running. So from here we can also take actions as well. So I can select these options. I can end the process, end the process tree search for and end process on multiple endpoints. So if I wanted to kill something across my entire environment, I could do so. I could add that hash to process blocking, open the file location. I could also create a dump file for any kind of investigation or uh, support issues that may come up. View behaviors, view behaviors on all endpoints, view the executable, or I can actually view the properties here to see everything that this is doing. Uh, so to show you how you can use these views to really speed up an incident response, what I'm going to do is kind of walk through how you could use all consoles together to investigate a suspicious process. So since we're on the process screen here, I could take a scroll down and look at what's running in this environment. And right here I'm going to see that I have HTTPD. So uh, for most environments this wouldn't be a web server considering that the naming convention is not matching any of my web servers. So what I could do is I could select this. I could end the process, but I'm not entirely sure that this is bad yet. So what I want to do is I want to open the file location. Let's make sure that this is running from a normal file uh, location on this endpoint. So we see that it's in SBIN. That's a pretty normal location. So what we probably want to do is get on the machine and investigate this. Now normally you'd have to go through your IT team or actually request access to get this machine back to you so you can investigate it. But with the uh, Fidelis endpoint live views, you could just connect directly to these and run the commands that you need. So for instance, I will go to console. I have my live console up. Uh, I want to see the network traffic that's going on in this. Maybe I want to create a TCP dump. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install TCP dump on this machine. Now we have TCP dump installed on my machine. Now I want to create a PCAP file so that I can collect this and investigate it a little bit further on my end. I want to do 30 packets. I'm going to save this to a file called 001.pcap. And then I want to select my adapter. There we go. So now we're creating a PCAP file. As you can see, I have 31 packets captured and 31 packets received by the filter. So now I have a PCAP on this machine of that specific uh, adapter. 
but I have no way to get it, except that I can go over to File System. I can go to the file where that was located, or the folder structure where that was located, and I can download that file directly out of the endpoint. So now inside of my file system view, I can scroll down to the home demo user, and there is my PCAP file right here. And what I can do is download that to my machine. And now I have that file. I can run additional analysis on it. Uh, let's say that we discover that there is some HTTP commands going out that are not what we want. So what we would do in that instance is come over to our processes. We'd find HTTPD and we would end the process tree. Yes. There we go, they're all dead and HTTP is gone. So as you can see, using the live console, you can navigate from running commands, collecting files and killing processes and taking action on an endpoint in a matter of minutes rather than having to wait to get access to that machine. Thank you.